Well, Stuart, a tough first round opponent in Peter Lines, um, you, you, an assured performance to get you underway, 350s. Yeah, yeah, um, so any, any win over Peter's a good, um, got a bit of revenge from the uh, Northern Northern Ireland Open, so um, yeah, so, uh, I, I didn't take it for granted, uh, I've been playing pretty well lately, and uh, once it got to sort of one all, sort of... Uh, so sort of maybe probably got used to the conditions. I sort of try to be patient and uh, made yeah made three good fifty plus breaks. It's been a really good season for you. A sixth quarter final at the the shootout, an interesting experience there. Of course, lost to the eventual winner, um, Tep Chai. A word on him in, in a second. But uh, how do you kind of evaluate your season so far? Yeah, yeah, it's been good. Um, a few little blips here and there. A um, couple of sort of first round lo- losses uh, at the start of season and um, and sort of after the win at the English Open, I had. A Sort of lost three matches on the trot, so it's been a bit sort of up and down, but mainly you say it's been pretty consistent, and uh, yeah, I'm happy happy the way I'm playing. And a word on Tep Shire, he, he played absolutely fabulously, didn't he, in Watford? Yeah, yeah, obviously the last three matches that I, I sort of remember, obviously against me, he had an 80 odd, um, obviously the 139 in the semis, and then against Michael, he, I think he made another 70 break, so uh, to finish out a, a tournament like that, playing that way, uh, I actually think he slowed down. Everyone's saying he quickened up, but yeah, I think he slowed down. He's such a sort of good, fluent sort of player, uh, and, and say well done to him winning his first ranking event. Yeah, of course, his first ranking title win. Yours kind of came on the maybe the back nine of your career, a, a very very solid back nine, but didn't come until 2011. Your first ranking title, five ranking titles in in a, a seven year period. It's quite an unusual thing, really, to do it that way, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'd say I, I think it's. Uh, Sort of um, with Barry Owen coming in, uh, it gave us loads of opportunity to play, and I was always one of these sort of players that needed to play more um, just to sort of get going. And uh, so, obviously, Barry coming at 2008, 2009, and obviously, it took me sort of a year and a half or so to get going. And uh, so, yeah, once I got going, it, the confidence that's what I always felt I had the belief to, to win something. Obviously, I'm a, a break builder sort of thing, so I always feel like I've got a puncher's chance. Um, but yeah, once uh, you get the confidence of winning something like that, you uh, you sort of go strength to strength. As we say, you've got five ranking titles. If you were to get one more, you'd go level with Ken Doherty. Then you'd go into the top 15 of all time um, ranking title winners. I guess back in 2010 or 11, if we'd said that, you'd have you know bitten our hand off already. Definitely, uh, yeah. Obviously, to sort of be in the same bracket as Ken, it's a obviously great great player, one of the all time greats, and uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, Say so obviously it could have happened a couple of weeks ago at the Welsh, but um, yeah, they're getting tougher. Uh, the standard, obviously, the Chinese coming through, and obviously the the Thai players now started to win. So um, yeah, I think any any sort of season that you get a, a win under your belt, it's it's a good year. And this place is a little bit different to Basildon, isn't it? It's beautiful, uh, Kerala, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, don't. I'd, I've been to India, I think, four or five times, and uh, I, I don't sort of step foot outside the hotel, sort of thing. So, but the the, the complex is yeah, fantastic. Um, obviously, swim pool outside. I think I've got a day off tomorrow, so might try and get a bit of sun. Try not to get burnt like Paul Davison did. Um, but uh, yeah, just obviously these sort of things you've got to try and enjoy and lap up and and take a sort of a break as well because how busy the tour is it's nice to just chill out around the pool and have a sort of cocktail or two well uh, don't burn and uh, no offence to Basildon lovely cheers